Greetings friends, it's me Wayman, and this is a video on the subject Bible. Um, yesterday I was on vacation, sitting around doing absolutely nothing, um, and I happened to see a humorous infomercial on the subject Bible. And the commentators were talking this Bible up, how awesome it was. So I decided to do a little bit of investigation. I found the infomercial on YouTube. And what's funny is, already in the subject Bible, I see a mistake. And, and I just started laughing so hard that my sides hurt. And, and this may be a theological statement. I've, I've seen these things happen before. So, um, what the subject Bible is, is they give you a bunch of numbers, and it's all indexed by subject. So, for example, if you went to Genesis um, in the beginning, um, you know, here's 128. You find 128 in the back, and um, it would be uh, everything that dealt with that subject would be listed. So they were selling it as two books in one, you know, like it's a like, like it's a big deal. So. But what was humorous is when they flashed this section right here, here is um, the name of God right here. And it's wrong. <laughs> At least for Genesis 1-1. So I decided to uh, go to the Hebrew and check it for myself, you know? Because maybe I was wrong. Because I, I know these guys know what they're doing. Either way, they, knew, they know what they're doing theologically, or they know what they're doing... Um, Um, for study purposes, so to speak. So, I went and looked. So, lo and behold, here's the Hebrew, Genesis 1-1. Barshi parah, Elohim. So, here, here it is right here. This is the name of God. If, if the um, makers of the subject Bible can explain this, um, I would be happy to listen to them. And if they can prove to me, if there ever was a text where the uh, divine name was used in Genesis 1, let me know. I want to see it. Uh, otherwise, this is completely wrong, as we've seen, as we proved from, from the Hebrew itself. Anyways, so, so I said, well... I want to buy this Bible, so let, let's go and look, and um, we'll, we'll check it out here. Here we go. Let the let the word of the Lord bring new light into your life through a profound comprehension of its meaning. Awesome. That's just what I need. Subject Bible. Complete topical study and reference edition. Yeah. By Dr. Everett Gaddy. Now this guy here, you do a search on him. Uh, he's been selling Bibles all of his life. So he's a Bible salesman, and he wants you to spend tons of money. And uh, so let's let's see. All right, I'm gonna order this. What? A hundred and fifty bucks? Boy, these things are getting pricey. So if you go to your mega church, and you have a hundred and fifty bucks laying around, um, you you'd want this. You'd want this while you're sipping a latte. But, um, friends, uh, just for normal people, uh, who, who don't have the 150 bucks laying around, and who don't, who don't really want to get ripped off by every Bible that comes out on the market, because half of them are junk, um, you can just go to Knave's Topical Bible Concordance. This is the poor man's topical Bible. It's been around forever, and it's, you know what, free. So here you can go to BibleStudyTools.com, uh, you could download it. For the free Bible programs that are out there, um, I have eSword and I have the Knaves uh, Topical Bible, and um, it gives you a um, it gives you a list of topics by alphabetical order, and um, you can simply uh, click on one of the alphabet letters. It'll bring up the topic, and um, you pretty much have it. So I looked up prayer, as they did in the video, just for fun. 
and um, yeah, we'll go to the P's. Oh, here we go, prayer. I want to learn about prayer for my uh, for my Bible study group. Let's see, for my men's Bible study group when we have the men's Bible study breakfast. Well, here we go. So here it is, and you just click on it. All these great references doing the same exact thing, and um, saving me 150 bucks. So you have it, friends. Um, pay attention to what you're buying. You don't need every new thing that gets advertised in the Bible world. You'd be broke. You'd be broke tomorrow. So um, take care. And um, remember, friends, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.